All right, I'm gonna give you a pumpkin harvest. This is the first time I've ever grown pumpkins. I have two varieties. I'm gonna show you. These are the Jack B. Littles. I should have filmed the whole thing, but I got all excited when they when um, I noticed that the stems were hard and drying out. They still kind of look green, don't they? But they are hard and dried out. Some are more brown than others. Like look how brown that one is. I was 100% ready. But they're all really beautiful color really um, tough. Um, these six came off of these two plants. This is a ten and a half gallon galvanized tub with two plants right next to it and it's still producing many many more fruit. Things like this one, I'm gonna come through and pop that one off because that one you see what's going on there. This is a funky fruit so I don't want that one to steal energy from my plant. I should actually do this with shears. Um, so here's another one. See how that one's just not forming right. So I'm going to remove that. Oops, my bag. Um, so we can concentrate on the nice ones. More up there. You can't really see that from here. So that was the Jack B. Little. Super happy with those. Even more exciting. Here's this guy. This is a winter luxury sugar pumpkin. <laughs> Biggest pumpkin I've ever grown. That's pretty nice. Eight pounds. Um, so the stem is definitely drying out. You can see it has a little bit of green in there, but it's also yellow and brown and dried out. I'm going to harvest this one. Oh, it's beautiful. This bait net worked perfectly to keep bugs in. Critters, like we have rats back here that steal some of the tomatoes. So thankfully we don't, um, we didn't have any damage here. Last summer they stole the rats and um, squirrels stole most of our winter squash. So I'm super grateful to have these. And I'm paranoid, so that's why I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Okay, so I'm going to cut it as far up to the top as I possibly can. Oh man, I should have got my bigger ones. Bigger shears. There we go. <laughs> it is a gorgeous pumpkin. Oh man. How pretty that is. Let's up. Oh yeah, that's a nice pumpkin. Maybe eight pounds. Look at that pretty webbing. We call this white, white stuff webbing. Oh, look. It's probably where it touched the ground. It's okay, it still looks good. So I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin curry. This is probably big enough to give us at least one pie and at least one curry. Let me show you what else we got because, oh, right here. So look, this, this is just one plant in a 17 gallon galvanized tub and most of the time that was the only fruit but now this one's looks good there's a whole bunch that fall off so i don't want to get excited to say exactly which ones are going to make it but some of these are looking good i feel like i'm going to end up with more fruit at first i was bummed that i was only going to get that one beautiful one but now all of a sudden it's out more. So I'm gonna have this harvest plus I'll have another harvest probably closer to actually Halloween. My first pumpkin harvest. Super cool. All right a quick breakdown of my trellis system that I kind of use all over the place. Same similar over here. Um, cattle panel. I love cattle panel. It's wide. I think this is three by eight inches. Either way they're pretty big holes so you can easily get your hand through. 50 inches by eight feet, so just over four feet by eight feet. And then I pounded posts into the ground and used a little bit of bailing wire to secure it. Super strong, super easy, it's removable. My favorite method of trellising. Scale at, here at zero pounds. Not as big as I thought it was, but still for my first pumpkin ever, pretty dope.